as global temperatures and urban populations rise. The world's cities have become urban heat islands. With tight-packed conditions and thermal radiation emitted from pavement and skyscrapers trapping and magnifying these temperatures. With 68% of all people predicted to live in cities by 2050. This is a growing, deadly problem in a paper published in Science. Researchers from the University of Chicago detail a new wearable fabric that can help urban residents survive the worst impacts of massive heat caused by global climate change. With applications in clothing, building and car design, and food storage age. Test results in tests under the Arizona sun, the material kept at 2.3 degrees Celsius cooler than the broadband emitter fabric used for outdoor endurance sports and 8.9 degrees Celsius cooler than the commercialized silk commonly used for shirts, dresses and other summer clothing. This, the team hopes, will help many avoid the heat-related hospitalizations and deaths seen in global population centers this year alone. It is an existing cooling fabric for outdoor sports works by reflecting the sun's light in a diffuse pattern so it does not blind onlookers. But the sun is only one heat source in an urban heat island. While the sun heats from above, thermal radiation emitted from buildings and pavement blasts city dwellers with blistering heat from the sides and below. About 97% of the clothes are heated by the thermal radiation coming at them from the sides and below, which broadband emitter fabric does not fight. This means many materials that perform well in lab tests will not help city dwellers in Arizona, Southeast Asia and China. The University of Chicago team's new textile, which has received a provisional patent, can help provide a passive cooling system that can supplement and reduce the need for energy and cost-intensive systems. The applications go far beyond clothing. A thicker version of the fabric protected by an invisible layer of polyethene could be used on the sides of buildings or cars, lowering internal temperatures and reducing the cost and carbon impact of air conditioning. Similarly, they could be used to transport and store milk and other foods that would otherwise spoil in the heat, cutting refrigeration's impact. Mm -hmm.